Back in Bradenton, Florida, the sun is set. That's going to change a lot of things around right here under cover of darkness. The traction, the track will start cooling down. Ted Jones here with you along with Jason Galvin and Joe Castello will be reporting from top end. Let's get ready for round number three. There you see on your screen the matchups, the way that West Buck drew them. And our first pair will find Kenny Lang and Jason Lee. Jason Lee in the far lane and that pro-charged machine came all the way from California, but he travels a lot. He loves the East Coast. He loves this style of racing. He was the radial versus world champion at South Georgia Motorsports Park last year. Anybody who can wheel one of those radial versus world cars, he was the first one into the fours in that series. You know they're plenty capable of coming to this style of race and delivering a win, but Kenny Lang's not afraid. Kenny Lang was running pro mods on the NHRA Tour when it was an exhibition class there and winning races. He's done this for a long time. You see Brandon Pez down there taking a look at that race car on the starting line. This is a driver, Kenny Lang, the Canadian. He's not gonna be afraid of that car over there on the left side of the track that they call the Lard Machine. Talk about a fun name for a race car, Ted, the Lard Machine. You know, anybody that can wheel one of those radios can drive. Nothing easy about getting a radial car down an eighth mile track with all the horsepower that they're making. For that matter, Ted, there's nothing easy about racing when you know you're either taking home $100,000 or nothing, and that's what's at stake right here. That's what you have to try and put out of your mind. Just drive it like it's a time run. If you let that $100,000 get into your head, you're not gonna win. Oh, nice whole shot start for Lang with a 0-11. Folks, it's all over right there. A 366. Lee had a problem hooking up. Couldn't get that Pro Charge car to run all the way to the finish line. Joe is with Kenny Lang moving into the next round. Another win light. You're down to the final four, two win lights away. Yeah, I mean, great race to be here, and uh, car's working well, but quicker and quicker every run. The weather's coming to us tonight with the sun going away and the track getting better, so conditions are ideal. We just got to keep picking, out, picking away at it every run and have decent lights every run, and so far it looks like we're doing that. Next pair up will be Marcus Burt and Spencer Hyde. You know for a fact that Spencer Hyde has to be worried about Marcus Burt having that 006 the last time, although that's pretty close to red. We heard Marcus Bird after that last run, Teddy, told Joe Costello he was worried about that reaction time. He said he needed to get himself away from that double O range because he was going to get himself into some trouble. But Marcus Burt is a driver. He got the phone call to come run this race about a week ago from Jose Gonzalez, the big businessman down in the Dominican Republic, had some family stuff come up down there with his business and couldn't make the flight up to run this Q80 car. It is a world championship pro mod. Marcus Burt is plenty capable driver. Well, we'll see if he can come with another good reaction time. Oh, he's a little worried about a 0.68, and it's going to be all over right there. What a run, a 66 to a 67. Great side-by-side -side run there. And how about Spencer Hyde, Mark Savage, tuned machine, moving on. Back-to-back whole -back shot wins for Spencer. Let's go to Joe. Man, that was probably one of the toughest races you've had. Take me in the cockpit for the run. Well, you know when you're running him, he's going to be up on the tree, and I guess he missed it a bit there. I cut a decent light, and uh, we got we picked up the car four tenths there. We knew we had to. We knew he was going to run a mid to low 60 and got away with one. So, I mean, we're happy. I'm feeling good about this, guys. Next pair, Kurt Stedding and Todd Tuttero. Good news, bad news. Kurt Stedding double zero eight on the tree last time. Bad news, it's your teammate, Todd Tuttero. Imagine being Kurt Stedding looking over in that orange machine at the silver striped Camaro of Todd Tuttero going, wait a minute, this is not how this was supposed to work out, Ted. We're supposed to be racing for $100,000 in the finals. So really, this one's just going to be in, a, in the head here. So, you know, Todd's a tough customer to beat, and everybody's a little bit intimidated by him, but I'm, uh, I'm ready to do the job here. The track's going to get better here, so we still have to watch when we'll blow these motors up, you know, because we still want to go on to the final round here. What kind of ET is out there? Uh, I bet you with that track, there could be 66, 65. I bet you we're not going to run that heavy against each other, though. Well, this could be a great race, especially when you run your teammate. You know how he thinks. You know how to get into his head. Let's find out what happens. It's interesting. Kurt Stedding said he didn't think Todd Tuttero would tune the cars up that strong for this run. Boy, almost dead equal reaction time. Almost dead equal. ET's unbelievable. Got to be one of the closest runs this weekend. Matter of fact, let's see if we can take another look at that. 
14 thousandths of a second at the stripe. I thought Kurt Setting said there wasn't going to be a 66 out there. That's exactly what Todd Tuttero gave him. You're two wind lights away from $100,000. Conditions are getting better and better. How are you going to handle these next couple of runs? We're just going to keep the brain right. I mean, to, to be Todd, that's a, that's a tough one to do. That's my tuner, my teammate, and uh, just got to keep my head straight out there. And uh, we want to go rounds. I want to go to the finals. Our next pair coming up, Randy Weatherford will be facing Jason Harris. And Randy Weatherford has a tall task here. Jason Harris, your number three qualifier. But Ted, Jason Harris at the number three qualifier is the only car left in the top half of the field in qualifying. Randy Weatherford has to feel good about his chances. Oh, I'm going to pick up this time. I mean, we're going to stand on it. It's either going to go or not go. I think we can run somewhere around 63, 64 this run. So, I mean, I know Harris is going to be shooting for that, so it's all or nothing right now. It is white knuckle time, folks, getting down to the nitty gritty right now. A couple of former nitrous racers who both made the switch to the Pro Charge. Well, whole shot right there for Harris, and that's all it'll take. Look at the 364. They're getting quicker under cover of darkness. Jason Harris, the two time Pro Nitrous World Champion, turning on another win light here. Your number three qualifier pumped up on the top end of the racetrack. Party time, Jason Harris, another win light. Big run, big win against Randy Weatherford. Take us through that run. I'm scared to death. Randy's fast. He's got the same stuff I got. Pro line power. I mean, it's just, you know, I can't thank everybody enough to stand behind me. I mean, I came into this race with a brand new car, brand new setup, and I was just wanting to qualify for the baddest race on the planet. But right now I'm going down the four. Who's your tires kept me sticked up? Pro line power kept me in the win. That's all I can ask for. God's with me. And we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll be down to that round of fours. Wes Buck pairs the next one up.